This next comic, it's going to be your first time hanging out here. So that means that you guys really need to applaud for a big, and especially the ladies, all right? When another lady comes up to a show, you guys should be, yeah, girl, say that shit, you know? But some of y'all hate motherfuckers, so don't do that. Don't hate them, all right? Don't hate, because you hate something. I can tell you hate right here, you. Oh, don't look away, don't look away, goddammit. Not you in the hat, the one behind you. Yeah, you, yeah, you hate. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, you hate. I know you. I, don't, I know you. I don't, I don't smell women like you. I know you. I can smell that hate. So don't hate on her, okay? Sugar, hey. Sugar nasty, hey. Don't hate on her, all right? All right? I have no idea what you said because I don't speak hate, all right? I will tell you this, I do hate. Ladies, I do have Sugar Nancy t-shirts for sale in every size, all right? They'll fit over your titties and your titties, baby, okay? They'll fit over your titties too, Sugar Boo. Hello. Hater, you should get one, hater. You should get one and support the cause. People gonna be talking to you bad after the show, but you know, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. Hey, uh, everybody, this next comic, wonderful woman. I worked with her uh, at least two to three times at the Purple Onion. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. Very funny young lady with a really wonderful and unique style. Hey, y'all in the back? Hey, you cats in the back? Shh. Hey, you cats in the back of the door? Shh. Bring it down. Here we go, y'all. Everybody, give it up for Destiny Iron Bryant!
normally date a guy who's really good looking and has been single for a long time. And I think what she meant to say was don't date a guy who's going to accept blowjobs from random strangers in our bathroom. But whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so the other night, I had a dream that um, I was being held prisoner in Mia Wakunis' sex slave dungeon. <laughs> too much to talk about like her laser eyeballs or her dildo wand or any of the sacrifices that I'd make to stay alive. I'm not going to talk about that because I'm more concerned with what that dream says about me. And I woke up in the morning and had this urge to like cut my hair really short and like wear khaki sleek pants and ties. So I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. What that means. <laughs> Do you guys have any nervous habits? Sorry, I was talking about this. Yeah? Good. Me too. Um, I have a lot of them. Most of them make me look really unattractive. Like I, I bite my lip and I, I peel my nail skin back. But I also dance when I get nervous. Like, I'm, like I'm just warning you because it might happen. Because I'm kind of nervous right now. Partly because I really have to pee and I peed like four times already. And I have to go again. So I'm kind of nervous. Um, so I'm just letting you know about that. Um, have you guys ever watched the show My Strange Addiction by any chance? Yeah. There you are, back there. She's so excited. For you guys in the front who didn't seem to applaud, you need to get familiar with this show real quick because it is amazing. Have you? Okay. It's amazing. It is like the weirdest, best show on TV right now. Because um, like normally I hate reality TV because I don't have the time or patience to watch dumb rich people like the Kardashians or the Housewives or Army Wives, Basketball Wives, Wives Swap, Mob Wives, whatever. None of the wives, I don't have time. There's too many wives right now. I don't have time for that. But when there's people out there who are like eating their couch cushions and then washing it down with nail polish. Yeah, so weird. I'm there. Like that's like too weird to pass up. I can't pass that up. And um, there's this one girl on the show, and I don't know if you guys have seen this, She's addicted to packing baby powder into her nose like eight times a day. Like she's so weird. And she's like sits there with her, just packing it in. Yeah, with the little plastic spoon, she's packing it in. And her house is covered with powder. And she has to like shake her sheets out before she gets into bed at night. It's disgusting. My strange addiction, it's, it's disgusting. And her friends try to have like an intervention with her and like get her help. And she's just, so they sat down and they're like, okay, um, we really need to talk to you. And she's sitting there with her little bowl and spoon, like packing it in, like, what's wrong with this? I don't, I don't have a problem. And one of her friends was like, um, well, you don't have a baby. So the baby's daughter, I don't know. And then there's like some other friend in the back who's like, come on, girl. Can you just sniff cocaine like the rest of us? Come on. Um, like who's trying to baby powder? I don't know. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, baby, come on. Um, but the guy on the show who makes her look like fairly normal, if you can say that, is the guy who's been in a five year long relationship with his car. Um, have you seen this one? It's my favorite. <laughs> he's so strange. He's my, he's my favorite. Um, and this guy, he's just kind of like, okay, he's like, I'm in love with Chase. Yeah. Um, we are in an intimate relationship, and we do have sexual relations. I don't know how sexual relations with a car works. I'm assuming the gas hole, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just guessing. Um, but my favorite part of this episode is when he has to like tell his dad that he's in a relationship with his car, and he does it as he's washing his car. Because <laughs> to me, that seems really weird. That seems like coming out to your dad and telling him that you're gay, like while you're showering with another dude. I don't know, you know, because I don't know too many gay guys who would just be like, We are in love, and this is the best way that I could think of to tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I did something 
something that um, scares me and freaks me out to the core of my being, and it's the third time I've done this thing. It's called auditioning for the vagina monologue. I don't know if anybody's seen this play. Um, I'm gonna be in it for the third time in my life, and every single time I wonder why, why, why am I doing this? Um, because I go to these auditions, and for me, like, the problem with being in this show is because the human body grosses me out, basically. I don't get it, I don't think I'll ever get it, and I don't want to talk about it. So, I'm at the Vagina Monologue audition, where that's the whole point, you're talking about your body. And there's girls in there who are like so in tune with their body, that they're like, my vagina is like a blooming flower, Dragonfly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. Do those things? Okay. Or like another girl who's like, my vagina is a tunnel of wonder. I'm like, that sounds big. They ask you stuff like that when you go in. They ask you like, what's your vagina like? And um, my audition didn't go so well because I walked in and I was like, my vagina is like a creepy Craigslist roommate. <laughs> we live together, but we don't really talk that much. I'm just kind of like, okay girl, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. Let me know if we have any visitors. <laughs> And um, they keep going, there's like this whole questionnaire that you kind of have to fill out. And um, one of them's like, what would your vagina wear? And I was like, I don't know, a snuggie? More comfortable than a tampon? Or, what do you call your vagina? And I was all, Queen Laquifa! No! like I should probably be prepared for this next one because it is not going well so far. So I skipped down to the bottom of the page and I saw that it said, perform three different orgasms. And I was like, I have three different reasons why I'm not down with this. <laughs> one is because there's normally not 20 other girls in the room with me when this is happening, unless there's like a, a camera and a microphone. Anyway. Um, <laughs> other people, my best orgasm is silence. I have nothing, I have nothing to offer you that is the best I can give. It's just silence, people will catch me. And three, like, who said that ever happened? Um, and so I'm getting ready, like, totally not preparing, and they give, the directors come right up to my face and they're like, Tiffany, what would your vagina say? Just dance. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, y'all, give it up for dancing.